Caleb Peebler here at Marine Max Panama City Beach standing atop the 2021 Grady White 336 Canyon. This 336 Canyon, as you look forward, does have the new windshield with the full wraparound glass, updated console and hardtop, big change to the electronics box. This boat's also equipped with Trip 300 Yamahas, the new Yamaha EX Helmaster, that's joystick with the integrated autopilot, diesel generator, and sea keeper. There's really nothing this boat's short of. We're gonna step inside and take a closer look, but while we're looking at the outside of the boat, we see that huge Carolina flare. More importantly, we see that just enticing harbor blue paint exterior. Uh, that dark blue contrast out here on these emerald green waters looks amazing as somebody blows by with the Trick 300s. Come on up aboard, we'll take a closer look at the back of the boat and work our way forward. So as you step at the back of the boat and come forward, it's hard to miss those triple 300 Yamahas. The 336 Canyon can have twin 300s, twin Yamaha 425 XTOs, or trip 300s. The twin 425s and trip 300s are astonishingly close in power, speed, cruising speed, and even fuel economy. I'm a big fan of the trip 300s. The uh, V6 300 from Yamaha is a tried and true motor and is something that is just an absolute battle wagon that's truly consistent. This boat specifically um, has 361 gallons and with a 1.3 mile range, or I'm sorry, 1.3 miles per gallon at optimal cruising speed right at 29.4 to 30, you're gonna average just over 450 miles of range. I'm not sorry, average total a little over 450 miles of range. So you've got an incredible long range of capability in a big beamy 33, a boat that is very commonly mistaken for a much larger vessel uh, that's even bigger than some of the 35 and 36 footers of its competitors, being that it's an over 11 foot wide beam. Um, this one specifically does have dual live wells here and here. We've got our bait station, our prep for tools, cutting board, some drawers and storage, tackle boxes, but we got live wells at either corner. So if we want to fish six people, or even probably realistically keep one at the helm and four fishing, we've got our tow rails around the corner, and the two people in this corner could fish this bait well, while the captain and two people in that corner could fish that one. Enormous fish box that runs the width of the transom at the back of the boat. That does have, with the diesel generator, the upgraded uh, refrigerated aft fish box that will run that thermostat down to almost 28 degrees. Uh, whether you want to run ice or not, it will keep it cold. Those Dometic chiller plates will turn uh, ice into a giant block of ice where you're going to have to hit it with some of that raw water, salt water as we run out uh, and keep that ice broken up, whether it's for beverages or for that catch of the day as we're out running that long range trip. Work our way farther forward of the boat. You're going to see a couple things that are absolutely fantastic. We've got the new electronic binnacles. You've got the new Hellmaster joystick. The new joystick uh, does integrate, uh, well, there's the electronic switches. The autopilot is included with these EX systems on the new joystick. Uh, much like the old joystick systems, it does have your fish point, stay point, and drift point, which are the three modes for holding the spot. Whether you want to hold in stay point, location, and heading. In fish point, we want to hold our location, could care less about heading. Or drift point, we want to hold our heading and could care less about location and want to drift, say, a weed line or a cliff or a ridge and we're popping into some grouper holes. Uh, joystick, new for this year, new feature from Yamaha. Uh, super, super smooth and those Trip 300s are really quick to pop. I personally like to run it on a single lever control where I can control all three engines from a dig or when we're out poking around just with that left binnacle. This item right here is awesome. Uh, running a sea keeper off of that diesel generator is gonna keep the boat stable side by side. You'll see that black panel and controller that powers that up and runs our sea keeper. But if you've not had a chance to be on a sea keeper boat, check out some of our other YouTube videos and look at how capable and incredible that technology is. I truly joke that it is the spouse saver and it feels like somebody has ratchet strapped that boat down to the waves. You're going to still get a little bit of movement up and down because the displacement of the boat is allowing those waves to pass by, um, but the side to side pitch, that roll, we've put four big boys like me up on the dock rocking the boat side to side and you've got a 17 degree roll with the sea keeper off. We turn that sucker on, it rolls one more time and locks it down and four guys that are 230 pounds 
can't rock that boat. It's pretty incredible. Uh, one of the neat features about the 336 Canyon that's pretty popular is uh, we've got three individual helm seats all the way across the cockpit. So you can get in here, get comfy, put your foot rest down and adjust that seat forward and rear, but sit comfortably at that center helm with your own armrest, own bolsters, um, and be comfortable with AC pumping there, even on a center console. It's like having air conditioning on on a convertible or a Jeep, right? Uh, it does feel good on a hot day when we're out here bottom fishing at 104 degrees to throw that shirt up over the AC vent and let that cold air pump. More importantly, why we have that beautiful AC, we're gonna have to kick the lights on and peek down in here. Hold on, just one second permission to come aboard. My apartment down here reeks of rich mahogany. No, but on a serious note, for a 33 foot center console that has diesel generator and air conditioning, this is on a different scale of a bathroom and small berth. I don't think there's another 33 on the market that's a center console and has this type of capability. You've got to step into much of the larger 40 foot and above center consoles to have amenities of this size. We've got a berth that stretches a little over 84 inches all the way up front. We do, as a reminder, have air conditioning pumping down here. Um, we've got a sink station. I'm actually sitting across the uh, wood here with the toilet down beneath where that'll secure up. But we could pull that sink station off and raise that up and have us a shower that if we wanted to come down here, cool off, clean up, rinse of salt water, we could do so. Under the seats, we've got storage either side and beneath that forward cushion. And because that door to the cabin locks, we've got lockable rod storage for what I can see is about six to nine rods. Uh, obviously access to all of our breakers and panels down here, a little bit of storage here and there and through there. Uh, but most of this is gonna be pump access, sea keeper access, access to the forward sump. But an incredible berth for a boat of this size and much larger. Let's work our way up to the front of the boat and take a closer look. So as we pan off of that seating just forward of the console, there's a couple things that stick out to me. Beautiful embroidered logo, right? But we've got wipers on that full glass windshield with a powered vent to let a little bit more air flow in. We come forward to that spreader light and we've got this seat that does have a raised, built up thick bolster to keep you comfortable. The angle's not funny, it's comfortable. You've got your grab handles and stainless steel cup holders that sit here, but mama, the kids, or the people that are riding along could sit up here and be comfortable Why? Uh, the, the wrecking crew fishes out back. You work forward and you've got these super, super wide bow filler cushions and bow cushions that have coolers, uh, extra fish boxes. If you do happen to pop full that insulated chiller plate fish box at the rear of the boat, we've got plenty of room either side to turn this into a backup fish box that is gravity fed. No concern of a macerator pump or a diaphragm pump failing because it's caught full of redfish scales. If it were me, I would probably use it as a fish box, fish box, and drink cooler. Don't want my drinks smelling like fish, so this one would be the designated drink cooler that's gonna keep this one nice and clean. You've got plenty of room at six foot, 230 pounds. You get in here, get comfy, and look at that extra room that as I sit in here, a couple that are up front. Nice tucked away grab rail that's not visible from the side of the boat looking in to feel safe as I'm sitting up front. Work our way forward to the windlass. And we can see we've got access to the windless anchor road and chain. We've got windless controls at the dash, as well as controls up here, uh, whether I'm running the boat by myself and I've got my family aboard, or if I've got a co-mate or a captain, somebody with me, and we don't want to run it at the helm, we could control that up here at the bow as we watch the tension on that anchor road pull in. But incredible boat, you know, over 11 feet wide, 33 foot long, constantly mistaken for a more than 36 foot vessel. The Grady White 336 Canyon with Sea Keeper, joystick, diesel generator, chiller plates, creature comforts galore up front, social zone down below, three seats wide. Uh, the features go on and on and on. Is a boat that you can enjoy, a serious offshore fishing machine, as well as a serious entertainer for dinner or going to the island. Uh, give us a call at Marine Max at 850-708-1317. If you enjoy checking our videos out, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow our YouTube channel where we've got several videos getting uploaded every single day. But once again, my name's Caleb. This is Marine Max Panama City Beach, and this was the Grady White 336 Canyon.